Hey Hackintosh gang welcome back to my channel and today you're going to learn how to use OpenCore Legacy Patcher on the Hackintosh. From my previous guide where I install macOS Sonoma 14.4 on this NEC VGS laptop. This has 5th gen processor which by paper it can run up to macOS Monterey. But through using OpenCore Legacy Patcher this can run even on the latest version of Sonoma. The OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Abbreviation for OCLP is an open source tool and project that works to enable the installation and booting of Mac OS on non-Apple made or incompatible hardware. They don't support Hackintoshes though and won't answer any support requests about it. They are designed for actual Macs only. Both running and unlocking features in Mac OS on supported and unsupported Macs. But you can still use it on a Hackintosh. Just be warned that this project is on go in development, you may experience some hiccups along the way. Here are the supported legacy graphics card, Intel processors from 3rd to 6th generation. Here are the supported legacy graphics card, NVIDIA Kepler GTX 600 to 700 series. Here are the supported legacy graphics card, AMD GCN, Polaris, and Vega series. Here are the supported non-metal graphics card, as follows, from NVIDIA, ATI, AMD, and Intel. On your config.p list, you need to set this on the boot argument. I will put this on the description box. If you have an NVIDIA, you have to set these things up also on the config.p list. We'll put this too on the description box. Let me open the about this Mac. Currently, this configuration has 7 megabytes of graphics on the system. The whole look has no transparency and lags a bit. Now let's extract OCLP. I will provide the download link on the description box. In case you don't know how to edit your config.p list, you can use OpenCore Configurator to edit them. Allow me to quickly show it. Mount the ESP partition by clicking this icon, and let's load the config.p list. You can access the boot argument on the NVRAM section, you can double click it to edit the texts. Then save the configuration afterwards, reboot the system, and let's open the OCLP. Let me just fix this error on my configuration. On the OCLP, click the Post Installation Root Patch button. From here, if everything is good on your configuration, you can click the Start Root Patching button. This is straightforward from here. Wait until the patching are done and you need to reboot your machine afterwards.
And there you have it. Let's check the about this Mac. That's about it for this video, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.